Yeah, look at this big front row. We talked about scrum success. Utah is so strong in the scrum. A lot of force right there. I'm looking at number two, Quatran. He had a late try to bring the Free Jacks for that victory. So a lot to do in that front row. Now, if we take a look at the back line, Joel Hodgson moves from 12 to 10. Hard to complain, 71 degrees, a capacity crowd, standing room only as we are accustomed to, and an early knock on, and the home side sees Utah pounce. Kieran McClay, your scrum half. Offload on the hip, look what I found, Michael Manson looking for more, and Manson gives the Warriors their second lead of the day, he'll dot it down for five. As the pace, take another look from the scrum, great flat ball to the captain, Paul Lasicki bringing in those defenders, opening up for that late line out the back in Manson, and the timing was superb, what a try by Utah. He is Major League Rugby's leader in meters with in excess of 1,100 this year, and you are looking at this sports version of the hidden ball trick. <laughs> Just having that thing on the back side and bringing it forward. What a play. Fans know this is their best chance here early on. Oh, had to beat one more man to get it in. Subsequent surge to the line, but not there yet. Can Utah hold them up? The final surge, is there grounding? There is. First try of the day for New England. In our TMO for this match, Austin Reed back in the studio has his eyes on all the angles. Okay. Understand, just checking the last pass to see if it's forward. I'll let you know. You heard. Oh. From Austin Reed, they are checking to see if the last pass was forward. We'll see if the rest of the world adopts them like we have here in America. And for all you young rugby players at home, that's why you practice that pin and pass on the edge at full pace. Next phase for the Warriors. Uh, New England staying disciplined in close confines. Surrender a meter there at most. Out wide, Hodgson with a little dummy at the last second, frees it up, and it's Mockney who's in this time for good. Second try this year. Mockney has been busy today. Check this out. Out the back to the captain. He looks like he's going to go, but that line back on the inside, inside of Patros. That's just great awareness from the 15, finding space and finding his line off the hip of the ball carrier. Support scores, tries in rugby, and that's a great one from Mockney. In New England, winners of their last two against Dallas and Old Glory. Trying to lock off the top spot in the East. It's possible this weekend. Patras for a sixth time this year, just able to muscle it through. Patras is an absolute magician. He's taking himself, but taking a look. Scrappy stuff at the break then at the Patras. He's looking for the big windup. Finds a little bit of space on the inside and gets his feet going and gets it over the line. Another angle here, just the big windup and just the spot back inside, the inside heat. Just doesn't get him down, and he barely nudges it over the line. Let's see if the mall can stay intact a little longer here. Opportunity this time. Jed Melvin has done it again. A brace for the flanker. Let's take another look. A little fake to the front, and the pod just pops up right there. They go to work. Great execution, and here's the break off. The <laughs> pod of two just going into the winger on the outside. They're not going to stop him. Taking a little look here. Nice break off the roll on the edge and just the double duty over the line. Who has overcome a yellow card already today. Quatran trying to be the low man. Oh, here. Isolated, isolated, I'm fine. No. Keys with the next phase. Trying to get past Duhila. There is promise. There's your payoff. Rugby. I mean, it's just a straight pick up, and who's your favorite hero? Put your head down and drive through. Here he is, pick and go straight through two and dotting it down. That's just a powerful moment from the open side flanker. Taking a look at it here. This is just straight up guts and glory rugby. They have kept New England out for now, keeping that discrepancy on the scoreboard at just two points. But for how much longer? New England's going to have to try something new. 
Reese McDonald, a meter shy. Final effort from Baker is in. Tank on the goal line, but New England finally gets it over. He thought there was a ton of space on the edge, and McDonald just darts back inside. Nice job supporting right there. Just a small chink in that Utah armor gets it over, but using out wide McDonald and quick support there for New England. Quick pickup and a quick try after some phenomenal Utah red zone defense. <laughs> There's nothing more that you want. It is a full five points on Father's Day for New England. Looking to be your number one seed as you're defending Major League Rugby champions. And along the way, the Utah Warriors' fate is sealed with no points today to show for it, losing by two scores.